The other day I got a call from a neighbor close by my childhood home that I grew up in telling me that my dogs that was on the property was barking and going crazy like he never heard before. The next day I went to check it out and I noticed one of my dogs was missing. So me and my other dog, Beamer, went to go check it out. The only place he could be is in the woods behind my house. Now that's roughly seven to eight acres in between my property and the next property. So it was gonna be a journey. Woods are pretty thick. It's always been sightings of coyotes, wild boars, alligators, you name it. The land used to be swamp land. So with that being in mind, I wanted to make sure that I had enough daylight so I wouldn't have to worry about none of those animals. Yeah, there's plenty of sun. It was a warm day to be winter. But hey, it's Texas. Houston to be exact, so what you expect? We walking through the woods. Hadn't seen a sign of him yet. Beam was picking up scents here and there, but it never led to nothing. So we just continued to keep searching. Me weary of snakes. Kept a big stick in my hand in case I would have to run across one. Who knows? But like I said, it was winter, so they're probably hibernating somewhere. Kept going and going. About 30, 45 minutes passed by. Still no signs of Benzo. Looking all over everywhere. What do you hear? Like I say, beamers keep picking up sounds. Be hearing things. But no Benzo. So what else can we do? Keep searching. So I'm walking through the woods. Start feeling a strange vibe. Like, not that something's wrong. Benzo, it's just... That you? More like something ain't right. Come on, Benzo. Let's I continue go. to search and search. Calling out Benzo's name. No response. That's not like him. Usually him and Beamer are joined at the hip. Where he go, she go. Where she go, he go. So, oddly enough, he's missing. Man, where is he? Steady looking around and looking around. I don't see no signs of breach on any of the gates or the fences that's close by. So, I didn't know what else to do or where else he could be. Only other thing I could think of is he went into the thick woods right past this gate here. And uh, I wasn't prepared to walk through all of that. So, I don't know. What can I do? Just continue to look around and look around. Still no signs. Notice Beam is getting tired. She didn't have any water to drink. I forgot to pack some water. But uh like I said, I just kept having a feeling like something ain't right. Oh, you know, especially it wasn't like Benzo. And not even that, it was just something weird was I just had a weird feeling. So I walked back towards the back gate. Something shiny caught my eye. Looking down, it was like a gold head. I don't know if it was a snake or what. So got the poking around. I noticed it was some kind of statue of a reptile. When I pulled it out. I immediately know it was an iguana. Now, I had iguanas here when I was a teenager. A couple got away, but don't believe none of them will be golden right now. But you know, that's just the magic of these woods. We was kids, we heard strange stories from the old people. Told us that these woods had a magical vibe. And I think that's what I'm starting to feel right now. But you know, me loving iguanas. I dusted the iguana off, put it in my backpack. It's going to take it home. Besides, I got an iguana myself. Rocket. Be a cool piece of decoration for his enclosure. Or just to have around the house. So, at that point, I decided well, maybe Benzo would be back on his own. You know. So, me and Beamer packed it up. And headed back up front. I don't think I was the only one having a feeling that something wasn't right. Beamer wasn't acting herself neither. She's usually more energetic, more outgoing. I don't know if she was depressed because she didn't have Benzo with her, or she was just feeling the same way I was feeling. But anyway, we had to get back.
So I got back to the front of the property. I want to get a closer look at this iguana statue. I mean, like, where did it come from? Who could have put it there? You know, I know it's not actually gold, but like I said, it'll be a cool piece of decoration. Start at the bottom, start at the bottom. Work my way to the top, dodging them robbers, dodging them coppers, dodging them coppers. Keep the survivor, that money in my Bible, I like keep me a lot of Keep me a rocket, don't leave on without it, I know they be watching. These bands in my pocket, I know they be popping. I start at the bottom, start at the bottom. It's a golden iguana. What should we name it? Wanna get out so you can check it out? Come on out. Maybe later. Rocket was definitely acting strange. Normally around this time he'd be out of his enclosure, roaming throughout the house. But I decided to pay it no mind. I wanted to get on the internet and do some more research on this statue. Maybe I could find out where it come from, or how old it is, or just if there's any other people with something that's like it. I searched around on the web. I seen a couple that was close, but nothing that was exact match. Could I be having a one of one on my hand? No, I don't know. But anyway, I had some work to do in the studio, so I went and handled that. But when I came back, that some things got weird. I know I had placed the statue right where I placed it. I have a short mind, so I don't tend to forget too much. Looking around, I finally noticed that the statue was on top of Rocket's enclosure. How it got there puzzled me. No, I'm not tripping. I love this statue. Hmm. But me being me, I just joked it off. It actually looks better up there. What you think, Rocky? It was one of the worst mistakes I made. I should have known Let's then. Stay there. Statues don't get up and walk. Nobody's here but me. Draco's outside. Rocky's in his enclosure still. Hmm. Should have been my first sign. Something strange. I don't know. You're not telling me about yourself? What you do with Rocket? All that morning, I was getting this bad vibe from Rocket. Like, he really wasn't himself. Rocket finally decided to come out of his enclosure. Bobbing his head for music like he normally do. This was the rocket that I knew. We would do this every day. While I'm working out jamming music, he would bob his head and just relax in the sunlight. So I decided to let him get a closer look at this statue. First he seemed cool, wasn't too bothered by it. You know, he was just enjoying his sun, relaxing. Just not tripping at all. At least that's what I thought. Like, Rocky would be in a circle of the statue, bobbing his head. You tell me you have beef with the statue. And not that Bob nod of approval, 
This was the one with aggression. I could tell by his body posture. Don't worry, he's still gonna be the top. He was definitely sizing up a statue. I don't know if this was a territorial thing or what. See, it's just a statue. But he really doesn't act this bad with the stuffed iguana toys I let him play with. Okay, Rocky. This was definitely a display of aggression. Rocky wanted no parts of that statue. No, I dangled it around just to make sure I wasn't tripping. He was definitely having a bad day. Really tripping over this statue, bro. Rocket was on another level. He wanted the statue. He would follow me around as long as I had it in my see. hand. Why are you acting like this? This playing aggression of okay. a wild iguana. This was like Rocket, like I never seen him before. I just couldn't explain it. So. I finally let him approach the statue just to see what his reaction right, would be. Just a statue. Got over the statue. Sniffing it, checking it out. It's something that was definitely drawing him to the statue that he hated seemingly so much. See? Can't just couldn't me. put a finger on it. I don't know, this may be a reach. I definitely think Rocky was trying to warn me about something. Cool now? Between me and you, Rocky really thought this statue was up to no good. He didn't want no parts of it. He decided to go back in his enclosure. Normally he gets a few treats while he's out. So I'm thinking maybe he's hungry. Maybe that's why he's so cranky. Soften him a plate of his favorite food. And what do you know? He lurched at me in a sign of aggression. He even chased me around a little bit. Had he turned this aggression for the statue towards me? This is Rocket like I've never seen him before. After running around about five or 10 minutes, I guess he just gave in to the food. So I'm thinking, yeah, he probably was just hungry. Maybe showing a little bit of aggression because the statue do look like another iguana, so it's understandable. But I could tell by the look in his eye that Rocket had something else in mind. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Next morning, I'm about to take Draco for a walk. I seen something crazy. Like... Super crazy. Put Draco outside so I could get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Now, how did time, this statue get back up here? Probably been tripping. I know for sure. How did this statue get back I up here? I put the statue up here this time. No, my mind not playing tricks. Got something back. So I did the next best thing I could do. I had a spare camera. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to see what's going on. It's the only way I could get to the bottom of it. Camera installed. Decided that I would go ahead and finish my walk. Me and Draco. Gonna really keep an eye on this statue. So I'm about a mile into my walk. And uh, everything seems cool. Until I start getting all of these motion sensors from my camera. 
And what I seen may have changed my life forever. I just couldn't believe it. This statue was teleporting all over my house. And then it got on top of the enclosure, so they solved that mystery. Then it just vanished. I didn't see it anywhere. I ran back home to check on Rocket to make sure he was safe. Like, what is he going through? I could only imagine how scared Rocket was. Like, I'm no expert, but if I was in Guana and I seen a statue teleporting and disappearing, I would be pretty shocked and scared myself. So I'm racing back home, just hoping that it's not too late and my rocket is safe. And most important, I want to find the statue and get rid of it. Just hoping that I make it there in time. Finally make it back. I'm in a rage. Bust in the house. Rocket seemingly to be okay. But he's still aggressive, more aggressive as ever. Like I haven't seen him like this since his first breeding season. Forget that. I'm looking for this statue. Looked everywhere. The statue was nowhere in sight. Rocket is aggressive as ever. What did that damn statue go I don't know go, what Rocket? to do at this point, or where that statue could be. Rocket's even clawing at me and biting at me through the glass like this. I've never seen Rocket act like this. You know, it was scaring me. I'm sure he was scared, so I kind of downplayed it. But man, I'll be back. I had an idea. I'm gonna go back to where I found the statue at. Keep me a semi, these guys is timid Just me and the model, but shorty a slimmy That fuck a little bit, even poke in it About to get out and I talk to my bitches I'm giving her inches, not talking extensions Happy on ending as long as I finish Busting up and leaving out with me Streets say they miss me like I've been in hiding Left y'all a recipe, y'all should be thriving Loud off the grid, I'm on Fantasy Island Just me and my money, they keep on flying Hey, Mr. Beat, I still pee out the silence Still pulling strings like I'm playing with a violin Got off the scene, ain't no need to acknowledge Get respect in the check just like Nike get Colin Damage is done, I do this for fun Come second to none, if I really was on one Pass and not else, speak up if you want one Trophies on shelves, put me in the lawn I do this the right way, this lightweight Got orders on holding on my way They get the to me the fly way They say look at who I'm like the property. Not on the same pay, this is my I'm running place. through the woods and rage like No stick this like time I got something more sinister. If I find that statue, I'm gonna crush it to bits and pieces. Running and running till I get to the spot where I found it at. No sign of the statue there neither. At this point, I'm just frustrated. Like, how could I be caught up in this? I'm just a guy from Houston. Now I'm seemingly involved in some 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 sci-fi stuff, you know? It's things dreams are made of. A nightmare, should I say. No signs of the statue. Had to take my frustration out on something. It was just over. Where could this statue be?
Bima sensing that I'm upset, she came in and tried to comfort me. And it worked. Still in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, where could the statue be? Just got up, decided to go back and make sure Rocket is okay. And oh yeah, if you're wondering, still was no signs of Benzo. These woods are definitely strange. Got back home and Rocket had calmed down. You know, I gave him a thorough checkup, examined and made sure everything was okay. And he was back to his normal self. Maybe it's a good thing that the statue is gone. I got my good friend back. He's happy, no aggression at all. Life is back to normal. Through all of this, it taught me a lot. Rocket is a great iguana. Yeah, hello? Man, Forget a statue. It was crazy. Rocket's not great. Yep. He's golden. Uh. Yeah. Everything.